Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy. JFib. So, yesterday I was streaming, right? I was streaming on Twitch because I stream on there a lot. And I play my Xbox One. I don't have the Series X or anything because I still can't get my hands on one. But, anyways, I was streaming on there and I ran into a problem. I restarted my Xbox and when it came back on, it was not starting, right? So my Xbox wasn't starting, nothing was going right, and uh, it was like really slow. And I just, this happened to me before, so I thought I could just keep turning it off and it would work. Fortunately, it didn't work. Kept doing the same thing, it was slow to start, and then when it did start, nothing worked. It was really laggy. I tried to log in, it wouldn't log in. It ended up saying home took too long to start, all this blah. I ended up waiting till the next day, which is today, and it was still doing the same thing. So I'm like, wow, this is messed up. I was looking on articles, it was saying um, you had to factory reset it. I found something else online that said this might work, but I saw no videos on it, and I just wanted to bring it to light just in case anybody else is having this issue. I know the new Xbox is out, but for the people that can't get their hands on one because they're not being sold any damn where and you know you might want to still play your xbox until you're able to get the new one just in case anybody ran into this issue i'm here to help you guys right off the bat things that you're gonna need you're gonna need a computer you're gonna need a flash drive that's at least eight gigabytes because the system updates about five or six you might want to go 16 because i'm not sure you know flash drives they take a little bit of space out of it for like system things i'm I don't, i'm not really sure um so i have a 16 gigabyte flash drive so if you don't have any one of those um unfortunately i can't really help you you could factory reset your xbox that might i'm sure that will work um, you just won't be able to keep all your stuff you keep your games, but anything other than that it's gone So the first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, just turn your Xbox off if you already have it on uh, Completely turn it off, you know hold it for 10 seconds and plug it do all that And then what you're gonna want to do is for most Xboxes uh, This is different for the digital ones You know the ones that don't have the disc tray if you have one that has a disc tray you can hold the pairing button that pairs your controller on the side and the eject button you hold both of those down and then you turn it on and you keep holding the pair and the eject button until the Xbox turns on you hear the power on ring twice and then the startup screen will show up Now, I've never seen this screen before this, right? So I was, I didn't even know this existed. So this will show up and it'll say um, offline system update. From here on, you can keep it on this screen. You wanna go to your computer. You wanna go to the link that I have down below in the description. It's an official Xbox site and it has a download link for you, the offline system update. You'll download that, it's about five gigabytes. It might take a second, depending on, of course, your internet and your computer capabilities. But once you get that downloaded, you wanna go into your files. Windows 10, you can just look into the, the zip file, right? and then it'll be, um, it'll be a dollar sign system update. You're gonna wanna go to your flash drive and your files. You're gonna wanna format that. It's gonna bring up a, a, a drop down, and it's gonna say uh, format type. Some says like FAT32. You're gonna wanna do NTFS. That's what you're gonna wanna format your flash drive to. Um, once you're done formatting that, then you can drag that dollar sign system update folder over to your your flash drive now that took me a little bit my computer isn't that great so it took a second but once it's done doing that then you're good you can go ahead and eject it pull your flash drive out go back to your xbox put your flash drive inside of your xbox and then that offline system update it, it's grayed out and then it'll let you use it once you get all that then you are done let's let it do its thing and then when it's done it'll let you use it again i literally just did this it just worked uh, so that's why i'm bringing you guys this video i am so happy that it did i was gonna be really upset because I didn't want to be stuck with a bricked Xbox and and have to wait to play Xbox until the, new, the fucking new Xbox is available again. So I definitely hope this helped you out. Let me know down below if it did. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And I definitely do appreciate your guys' time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!